we find that defensive processing patterns in childhood, ages 6 to 10, predicts growth in aggressive behavior uh, into adulthood, controlling for everything we can control for as well as controlling the prior levels of aggressive behavior. Autonomous might think about this as a difference is a difference kind of a study. Psychologists using structural equation modeling, we get at the same kind of thing. Right. Now, in the fast track study, which is another longitudinal study of 1199, boys and girls follow from age five. They are now 30 years of age, so we've been at it a long time with them. We've tried to uh, look at a broader array of adult outcomes uh, in these same kids, some of whom we've uh, identified as uh, displaying chronic defensive processing patterns and some not, right? And we predict what happens when they grow up. At age 25, uh, so what I've got graphed here actually are five groups of kids. I've just taken this measure of defensive processing and divided them into five groups based on quintiles. The lowest 20%, next 20%, middle, next highest, and highest 20% on our measure of hostile attribution of bias, right? And then I've got graphed um, arrest records. Uh, uh, administrative records of arrest for a vile crime. And you can see a fairly linear pattern that as you increase in defensive processing at age 10, the probability of a violent arrest at age 25 goes up in a linear way. Right? Not only do violent convictions go up, but convictions for drug use uh, go up as well. Not in a linear way, it's interesting to try to understand that, but they certainly go up. Property convictions also increase in a linear way. Uh, we had clinicians come and do uh, clinical assessments using psychiatric DSM criteria to uh, diagnose our 25-year-olds as antisocial personality disorder. And we can predict that disorder from age 10 uh, defensive processing patterns uh, as well. Um, not only that, um, when we look at the parenting that these children engage in when they grow up to be age 25 and assess whether they maltreat their offspring. We find a linear relation, uh, or at least a significant, somewhat linear relation, between the defensive processing patterns they display as a child and their maltreatment of their offspring when they grow up. We look at partner violence for those of whom uh, who are engaged in an <coughs> ongoing um, partner relationship, romantic relationship of some sort. And there is, again, a relation, not linear, but it's that highest group that's at particular risk. We look at other outcomes. Who graduates from high school? We can predict who's going to graduate from high school and who's going to be a dropout at age 10 based on this pattern of defensive processing. It's not only an aggressive behavior problem, it's also problems of depression and anxiety that are predicted from this defensive processing pattern. And so we have a relation with clinical measures of depression and anxiety. The last couple, uh, one is uh, full-time employment at age 25. Um, and you can see, again, a relation. The higher the defensive processing at age 10, the less likely you are to be employed at age 25. And last, we have a measure of um, well-being, which is based on personal strengths, happiness, health, and you can see a sharp decline as at age 10, your defensive processing goes up, predicting these outcomes.